for checking them. Check it out now. Another day, another thought. Okay, now Drake seemingly is slanging some community dick out here, bro. All right, he's fucking everybody, and worst of all, he's fucking them raw, because this is the second thought in about two months to have come out to say, hey, Drake got me pregnant. Okay, now we have a chicken. It's kind of hard to describe this chick because apparently this chick is a porn star, but she wasn't getting fucked. And what type of porn star are you if you're not getting fucked? Apparently, she did many kind of nude scenes, but she never got penetrated by a person. So she's not really a porn star. She's like an adult. I don't know what it is, okay? Regardless, this chick, okay, uh, she got a great body. The face is, ah. She was seen with Drake in January, okay? Around January when Drake was canceling all them shows in, in Amsterdam, Drake was actually taking out a porn star to dinner. Now, I know a lot of people from Amsterdam because all y'all were hitting me like, why is he canceling his concerts? Then you see him at dinner with a fucking porn star, okay? Now, we know Drake is a simp, but of course, after years of being famous and being a top guy, you got to imagine he's probably hard on thoughts now, okay? Also, we know that all the chicks that usually speak about him, they say he is not the nice guy he portrays himself to be in his music. Now, here's the thing. This chicken, her name is Sophie Broussard, okay? Uh, her uh, entertainment name is Rosie Devine or Rosé Devine. She says she's pregnant for Drake. She already hired a big-time lawyer from New York City. She wants to get the child support going while the child is only three and a half months in the belly. This is crazy, right? Now, I would normally chalk it up like it's a lie because the last chick seemingly was lying, Right? And the reason why I'm saying that is if you go to social media before you actually get some real results, I think there's going to be a credibility question. However, this chick ain't taking it to social media. She took it to the lawyers and that leaked out to the media. Now, she actually got text messages from Drake and all of that. And basically, she is legit pregnant. Is it by Drake? We just don't know. Okay? She shows some text messages here. She says, Drake says, I want you to have an abortion. She says, I can't kill my baby simply to indulge you, sorry. He says, indulge me? Fuck you? Then she says, what? Then he says, you do know what you're doing. You think you're going to get money. Now, again, I would say she is lying, but I have to say, Drake snitched on himself already, bro. Drake already snitched on himself in a song called Sacrifice because if you see what the chick alleged... The chick said Drake fucked her and got her pregnant either on the 20th or the 21st, okay? They were seen together publicly on the 24th, and if you listen to the song Sacrifice by Drake, he says this. Wrote this shit January 21, <laughs> baby girl I had to run, I'll be back in a couple of months, okay? He continues to talking about, he says, listen, I got no baby on the way, I'm talking baby like stun, I'm talking baby like face, okay? Basically, he's in denial. He was in denial from back then. He was skating in that bitch's stomach, okay? Skating in her fucking gut. And now she's coming up to say she's pregnant. She may be lying, but she's definitely a genius for bringing it back to when he rapped about probably being with her. Because he was with her when he wrote that song, obviously, because he was pictured with her, like, around that time, right? So when he has a song that says, wrote this shit January 21st, right? Baby girl had to run. It would assume that he's probably talking to her. So Drake might have self snitch on himself. However, who gives a fuck? All right, who gives a fuck? Listen, man, I don't think that baby's seen the light of day, unfortunately. I don't think the baby's going to be seen the light of day if it's really Drake's, okay? We ain't see Drake catch no real L, and if this baby's born by what I believe to be a thought, this is an L, okay? Drake has been L-proof, and not that he hasn't taken L's, but it just doesn't affect him. This might be the only one that would affect him, and when I mean affect him, we all know, and men, when you have a girlfriend who is either ratchet as fuck or who have a loud mouth and it makes it worse that it's now a baby mama because you stuck with her for 18 years, 18 years, you are fucked. You are completely fucked. And again, while Drake does a lot to maintain his image, right? It might seem like he's not doing a lot, but he does a lot to maintain his image. When you have a baby mama, ask, well, what's Chris Brown's baby mama for royalty? Them hoes will definitely tarnish your whole brand if you don't cough up the money. So you're going to have to pay them for 18 years to shut the fuck up. Or the minute you miss a payment, they are yapping about all type of secrets you ain't want to be divulged. So we'll see what happens. Uh, who cares? Uh, listen, all the Sim songs. It is kind of funny. Drake sing a, a bunch about love songs. It don't look like this nigga been in love. I mean, he's dated more bitches than, I mean, Trey songs. I mean, come on, right? The nigga who sings the most love songs talking about he has feelings. 
he don't be dating no bitch for more than like two to three months. So who knows? Maybe he finally got a kid. Who cares? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to your boy Jack Dynamics. I'm up.